Greetings. Welcome to DAU's AI video learning series. This video is going to briefly explain the difference between discriminative and generative AI. So by now I'm betting you might have come across the terms discriminative and generative AI. These terms describe two major categories of models in machine learning, and these categories are frequently employed uh, in the context of neural networks. So if nothing else, I'm sure you've heard of ChatGPT, and the G in ChatGPT is generative. Okay, so let's say you have a picture that you would like the network to tell you, hey, who is this person? So this is discriminative. So you want to discriminate between the person, this person and all the other people that are in the, in the neural network's memories. So the network has been trained to recognize faces and you give it this face and out comes Ben Franklin. Okay, so that's the discriminative side. And now on the generative side, we say create a happy face. So the prompt's a lot easier. Uh, on the on the discriminative side, we gave them a whole image to 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 input. On this side, we just say create a happy face. So you give it to the generative network, and it creates a happy face. And lo and behold, out pops a happy face. Now, believe it or not, as hard as this is to believe, that is not an actual person. That is just something the network dreamed up. Uh, with a happy face, okay? So you can see uh, many different applications for both of these types of, uh, of, of AI systems. And a, an extreme use case of the uh, uh, discriminative side would be uh, identifying population members. If you saw in the age of AI, the frontline, PBS frontline episode, China, they said China's using this to keep track of their population. And, you know, certainly a very advanced uh, use case for discriminative, uh, discriminative AI. And as to generative AI, uh, this was generated with a prompt from a generative AI that said, create a woman looking in the mirror. Okay, so now they still can't do very long videos, and I believe, truth be told, this was synthesized from stock video. But nevertheless, very soon, you're going to have real neural networks generating entire movies. Heck, we might even have to have a new category at the Oscars for, for generative AI movies. So lots of applications for these two types of AI. And, and they've certainly had, if they haven't had big impacts on our lives already, they certainly will in the future. And applications of these two types of neural networks uh, they might be found across all six AI domains. And while discriminative and generative are big descriptors making the news today, it's important to note that these terms don't describe exhaustive categories of AI models. Uh, and they also they're not uh, relegated to exclusive use with regards to neural networks either. It's just where you see the, the most common use of them. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about different AI models and applications as well, uh, I recommend the course, What is AI? The DAU course and the other DAU course, What is Machine Learning? Both of those you can find at the, in the link at the, at the end of the video or in the comments section. So, Miss Large Language Model Generative Pre-Trained Transformer, uh, please summarize this video for me. Discriminative neural networks are often best suited for tasks that require you to differentiate between different categories, whereas generative neural networks excel at tasks that involve generating new data or understanding complex data. So both types of networks offer valuable approaches for tackling a wide array of problems in machine learning and artificial intelligence. If you would like to take any of DAU's AI courses and earn credit toward an official AI training credential, please click here or see the comments below for the link. And thanks for watching. Please check out the other videos in our series. And if you got anything out of this, please like and subscribe.